Before the servers go live for the Trade Blazers League, I just want to say that in this league I am going to focus primarily on the fun aspect of it. If you didn't follow my channel or watched the content that I made on the Twisted League, you can watch that at the end of the video with an annotation. But in that league I went really hard for the Dragon Cup, meaning I wanted to play very efficient. Now this time around I really want to focus more on just playing the league and getting as much enjoyment out of it as possible, instead of farming for example 50 million hit points experience to get 500 points. With that said I do have a discord if you want to join that, the link is always at the top of the description, but let's get started with the Trailblazers League. It's now 3 minutes until the servers open and I have been thinking on what I want to do and I actually really want to kill the Nightmare and that is of course quite a grind before you can get into it but I have looked at all the relics, all the unlocks you can do and I'm going to rush for the 6th relic to be able to then do a lot of PVMing, I mean I will have to do a lot of PVMing to get there in the first place but then I can unlock these two relics and match them together. You can see them on the screen right now. And if I do get some decent gear to do the Nightmare, these are going to be extremely strong at the Nightmare. And the drop rate of items are way higher in the leagues. So the dream of getting a full Inquisitor set could be possible. It would be so fun to try and do it. We are now inside of the leagues and I'm going to unlock my first one which is going to be Endless Harvester. It is by far in my opinion the best one. It gives me double resources on fishing, woodcutting and mining and they are also sent to the bank if you have the full inventory and uh, it is just extremely good. So that is the one I'm going to use for my first unlock. Look at the amount of people under me. And then I finished my tutorial. So I now can start doing tasks and let's have a look at them. So uh, there are a lot of easy ones that I can get out of the way. And it is only 480 points for my next relic. And my next relic is going to be, let's see here, the last recall one. It allows you to teleport back to the last area you teleported to, which is extremely, extremely useful. I think a lot of people undervalue this one. So example, I'm doing Nightmare. I teleport to, for example, um, Darkmare or whatever it's called uh, with the uh, Draken's Amulet. I run to the boss, I kill the boss, I teleport back to the bank. And then when I have all my supplies again, I can instantly teleport back to the Nightmare using that. I can do that every single time. So let's get some tasks done and uh, gain some relics. Look at the amount of things I have in my inventory. I actually didn't know that you would get all these items instantly if you play the last league. I also have a Draymond staff, but first I want to go to the tutor. I'm going to claim the magic thing, I think. So let's claim that and let's see what we get. If it's the... Oh, okay, so it's just normal runes, I guess. So not really that useful, I suppose. And the twisted horns, of course, I can't really use for anything. I guess I can inspect... Uh, the twisted blueprints, even though it's not really going to... Oh, I can't. Oh yeah, I have to have a house to be able to do that. I literally did like one pickpocket and I got 40 points. Sweet. Now, to be able to get to uh, Mauritania, which is the area I want to actually do a lot of content in, I have to complete 60 tasks, but that is really not that hard. I mean, there's so many easy tasks that I can complete, so let's get uh, working on that already. The way I'm going to start off is fishing. Now that I have the gathering relic, I will get two shrimps every single time and uh, they will be sent to my bank when I have a full inventory. So I'm actually just going to farm quite a lot of levels. You can see, actually, they already send now. I don't even have to have a full inventory for them to send to my bank. And I can then also farm a lot of fishing levels and some cooking levels and get some good food to start off with. If you are playing on the Runelite client, I would recommend to use the Entity Hider because it is going to give you way less lag if you have FPS issues. But I'm going to do fishing all the way to 20. I'm going to do the Stronghold of Security, get some money, buy some feathers and fish some trout. There we go, that is now 20 fishing, so let's go and get the money. And there's so many tasks, I look through them, that are very easy, like burn a shrimp and actually just cook a shrimp. That is 20 points right there. Three tasks completed back to back, burnt one shrimp, cooked one and opened 28 coin pouches at once, very easy points. Got my 10k, I don't really care for the boots that you get from the last one and it's way too risky, I actually saw some people die already here on this uh, area, so I'm just going to home teleport and go and buy some feathers. Oh my goodness, I completely didn't know this. I thought that Power Tarim was in the uh, starting area. I, it apparently isn't, so I can't actually go and buy a fly fishing rod. So I guess that is my plan 
ruined already. That is not good. Let's uh, do something else then. The first area you land in is just so limited, so I'm just going to do a bunch of easy tasks, get the next area, and uh, hopefully get somewhere from there. Absolutely massive battle about to be finished here for the hardest 10 points of the entire league. Kill a goblin. It is now done. As in the future, I will be killing the Nightmare with melee. I am definitely going to level melee and therefore I am buying an Adamant Sword for 2k. It's not too expensive. I think a smart thing to spend your first money on is probably runes because magic is so fast to level. So that is what I'm going to spend most of my money that I have now on and also a Staff of Fire. I earlier got this easy clue from a goblin, but the next step I have to do is in uh, the Alcarid area, and I am not unlocking that area. It seems like by far the worst one. Took a while to complete this with all the lag, the quiz in the Varrock Museum, but I'm very interested to see if this is going to be boosted experience. So let's see how much experience I'm going to get in Slayer and Hunter when I complete this. Give me a second, and I should get the experience. 5,000. It is boosted. That is so good to see. 20 slayer and 20 hunter from this that is on value hands down the best task they've put into the entire league pet a stray dog for 10 points first assignment of the account 27 goblins that should be easy enough to complete Initially, I was going to unlock Mauritania as my first area, but I think the smarter thing to do is to get Kandoran first, because if I do that, which I'm not too far off now already, I can actually use the cake stall to get food, as that is going to be extremely easy 12 healing food for Slayer and PVMing, as well as for Nightmare, I need this anyways, an occult necklace and a trident of the sea. You could technically go with a Sanguinesti staff instead, it is better, but I am probably not going to do TOB at all in this uh, league, so the uh, Trident is what I will have to use anyway, so the Kandran area is a must unlock for me regardless, and I do think it is going to be a better first unlock than Mauritania. Earned my first 30 of the account, which is actually surprisingly 50 points, so that is a lot of points, only 110 more until my next relic already. Shiloh village is out completed. Maybe I can get there and actually buy fishing supplies there. I'm not sure if you can actually do that, but I'm going to have a look. What an absolute beautiful sight. Let's buy the fly fishing rod. And how much is the feathers? How much is a pack? One pack is 200 GP and it is how many? 100 in one, I would assume. So yeah, you could actually buy them here in Shiloh Village, that is really nice. I'm going to do this for food instead. And sorry by the way if a lot of this is very jittery, like I don't really know what I'm doing most of the time. I'm just having ideas and I want to execute them and then I realize I can't do that. So of course the first episode and maybe the second one is going to be a bit weird. But after that I hope I can get more consistent with what I'm doing. So sorry about that, that's just the way it is with new things. Catching a Salmon in the Karamja is also a medium task, so I actually got my next relic now, but I had to be in the bank to be able to claim it, last recall. Let's select that one and confirm, and what's really huge about this as well, is that I now gain 8 times experience instead of 5. Quite a difference actually, and here we go, the Crystal of Memories can now be used. Just gained 100 more points because I pickpocketed a guard for 50 points with 40 thieving and I went into the cooking's guild with 32 cooking and a chef's hat that I got from a goblin, actually from that slayer task that I did. And my current task, I have to click here actually for it to update, 11 more until another area and 1270 points until the next relic. I mean, why not? I went back here and now that I have a bit more HP just to get the free task done and the boots, I'm going to of course choose the colorful ones. They're always the best ones, so let's get them. They gave no stats, I'm pretty sure. Maybe some small, yeah, a very small amount of stats, but nothing really too significant, but it is a task to equip them. Five quest points and also, of course, a task completed in the Romeo and Juliet quest, and I'm probably going to do Rune Mysteries now as well. It's another free task. Rune Mystery is done and only 8 more tasks if I actually refresh here until I get the next area, which is most likely going to be Kandarin, but I'm still thinking about it. So because I'm going to do a lot of fishing now, I am just going to pretty much stack up on food and cook it for doing Slayer and a lot of combat hopefully in the next episode. I'm going to end the video here. 
I would love to hear your guys' feedback on what area you think should be the first one to unlock. I still have to get 8 tasks done, but that can be done pretty fast. So I would love to get some feedback in the comments on what areas you think are the best. I'm definitely leaning, as I said, towards Kandarin, but if you guys have some good inputs on other areas, I might consider them. But if you did like the episode, please leave a like. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to see when I post the Trailblazers content as soon as it's up. Have a good one. Take care.